Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, if you are, please go ahead and subscribe down below. It really helps me out and then it also helps you out so you don't miss any of my future videos. Hit the bell as well because sometimes the other though can have a mind of its own. But today we're going to be doing a little bit of an atypical sit down style video. Instead of me sitting down and sharing my spring break essentials, I'm going to be getting ready for running errands. Basically nothing. Things I think you definitely need to bring to any type of warm weather tropical spring break trip. Some of these are basic things. Some of these are things that most people probably don't commonly think about. So either way, hopefully you'll find some value in this video. So let's get started. Starting off, since I'm going to be just telling you some of my favorite spring break essentials, I'm just going to be doing like a very light makeup look. I've already done my skincare, so that's been checked off the list. First things first, you need to make sure that you have a great toiletry bag. And when I'm saying a great toiletry bag, I suggest this one I got off of Amazon. I actually got it for Christmas, but I have been eyeing it for quite a bit. I knew it was going to be great. It had wonderful reviews, and I can stick by every last one of them because it has been great. Like, I can fit so much in it. It's still super compact. And even when I take everything out, it is so like minimal and small. You guys need it. Let me show you. Right now, it's still completely full because I like to keep a lot of my travel essentials just in here. But if you're not like me, you can obviously take everything out that you use on a daily basis. I like it because it has the two flap and I can't even get it all in frame. But this is like a brighter dye. I love this product. Wish I had it earlier in life. But I have like toothpaste and stuff like that up here. I have the world famous oil. It's the original one of the few original left. Everything is in here because before as you knew I had like a thousand bags when I would pack. It even has a front pocket. I haven't even utilized that part. I am going to go ahead and do brows. The next thing kind of related to that is black girl sunscreen if you're a melanated girl or just sunscreen honestly in general. You need to have it. Something you just need for spring break. You're going to be out in the sun especially if you're going to like a warmer destination. But I think black girl sunscreen is a must. And then also get one for like your body. I'm not super particular with my body sunscreen but my face sunscreen that's a different story and following up with sunscreen would be this product that i'm actually about to put on which is just a tinted skin conditioner moisturizer and i love how this product in particular is super light minimal doesn't even really feel like i have anything on and then into some of the more basic things you want to have a good insulated beach bag and I mean one where you can put some like cool stuff at the bottom if you don't want it to get all sandy and messed up. I'll also link down below this cute weekender that I got for Christmas and it has like an insulated bottom so I wouldn't necessarily suggest that for the beach just because of the fabric on the outside I think it wouldn't be the best for the sand. If you're going to like the pool but you just honestly need like an easy weekender like day bag. If you are traveling in an airport, I would suggest that you definitely have some kind of tracking device, whether it's a tile, air tag, probably save you if you and your bags get separated for some reason on your trip. That way you know where they are at any given time. Continuing on, you need to get a pair of sunglasses. We all know if you've been here for at least five seconds, you probably already know my favorite pair of sunglasses. They're from Amazon. I've bought them three times now. And that's partly because they've been like temporarily lost and I couldn't go too long without them. So I bought them again. And with those long days at the beach or just doing any kind of excursion, your devices will end up dying or run low in power. And so you wanna make sure you have a power bank so you're not the person with the dead iPhone or the dead iPad you can't or the dead Kindle. Make sure you invest in a good power bank. You can get it from anywhere, but just don't make sure you don't get like a super cheap one. Another thing, if you're going anywhere with a lot of bugs, bring this device. It's this bite relief thing. That's the worst feeling is wanting to scratch a butt bite when you know you're not supposed to. Kind of in the same direction as that, you want to make sure that you have allergy medicine. Hear me out. I know this one's kind of bizarre. If you're going somewhere from being cold, somewhere warm, I don't know about you, but my allergies start acting up like when I have drastic changes in weather. Or even if you're going somewhere and it's starting to get warm, pollen. Another fun one, a good speaker. Music just makes the whole experience even more fun. When you're outside for a long period of time, you want to make sure you have your water intake going. You do not want to get dehydrated. Avoid that by bringing your favorite tumbler or water bottle. I don't know if you noticed when I did the toiletry bag that I have these cute little toiletry bottles that I got off of Amazon. You can get them in any like color set. They work perfectly obviously for airports or anything where you have to have a certain amount following regulations and stuff for your liquid. They're easily identifiable. They're cute. Of course you need them from Target or Walmart, but if you're looking for a cuter pair, I suggest 
checking out Amazon. So rounding out our list here would be, I call them like push pin buttons, probably not the technical name. They are a lifesaver if you are routine, somebody who has like weird sizing configurations when it comes to jeans or shorts or anything like that. They are these little buttons. They kind of look like almost like earrings, Loki. They have different designs as you can see here. So it can like go depending on if you want something that's a little bit more simple or something that looks more like a traditional jean button. Tighten your jeans, you know how you normally would just put the button through the hole. Well, instead of doing that, you like scrunch them to the size or the tightness that you actually want. You take the little backing out and you just puncture a hole through that spot, through the jeans, and then you take the other side and you put the backing in it. Such an ingenious idea. I'm gonna do a little blush today. I normally don't do that for my like simple radio look. Or the rider dies or the skin tint which gives me SPF, and then my Pro to Conceal. But the true MPP is making sure you dry them first. That's what gets your face ready to go for the whole process. So I'm gonna go ahead and set. Which I was recently told that actually does nothing as far as actually keeping it longer. And I just go up, almost like a backwards comma, apostrophe. I don't know, that punctuation thing. It has a circle in it. It's like a backwards version of that. Disregard my bad punctuation analogy. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I tried to switch it up from the normal just sit down advice essentials bucket list format. I still love getting that information, but I wanted to do something that was something more for you to watch. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the description so you can purchase anything that you like in this video. And until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye guys.